When you hear one pot meal, you probably think a casserole or a soup or a stew. Here's my take using a roasting pan instead. It's my herby chicken tray bake. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. On this channel, we teach you all about celebrating. We share recipes for food, or d'oeuvres, cocktails, and we share entertaining tips too. Now we try and keep this all very, very simple, especially for those of you out there who say that you just can't cook or entertain, because we know you really can. So if you like this episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and watch a new episode every single week. Today, our celebration is a play on a one-pot meal. We're gonna be making a very easy herby chicken tray bake. Now, what's a tray bake? It's exactly that. We're gonna cook our entire dinner in a roasting pan. So let me walk you through this. This is something that's very, very simple and easy, very versatile, so let's get started. Now, Potatoes. We're going to start with some potatoes. This is our vegetable. And all I did was I sliced these on my mandolin so I have a consistent thickness of all the slices. And this is about five potatoes. Pretty simple. We need to give this a little flavor, a little bit of olive oil, just to drizzle. You know, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon. And some salt and pepper, just to start. Now potatoes like a lot of salt, so don't worry. And some pepper. Now I'm going to use my impeccably clean hands, my favorite cooking tool, mix this all together in this bowl so that we get everything coated and seasoned as best as we can. Because it's all about adding flair flavors to every layer. All right, I'll set this aside. Let me wipe my little potato -y hands. Now let's talk protein. I like doing this with chicken. Today I'm going to use a Cornish game hen. Now, Cornish game hen is just a small tiny chicken. These are great, I love keeping these in the freezer because really you can get a meal for two people out of them if they're a little larger, or one per person is nice, but they're just very versatile. So we don't want to just plunk this and cook it whole like this. We're going to cut it in half. Very simple. The first thing we want to do, of course, this is the breast, like we normally would, you would see and expect. We're going to turn it over. We're going to use some kitchen shears and we're gonna cut the backbone out. We're just gonna go right down either side. Now this method is called spatchcocking, which we've done before. Very simple, very easy. You can do this with a whole chicken. You can do it with a turkey. All right, now normally I would say hold these aside and make stock, but I'm not gonna do that today, we're just going to discard. So now we have this chicken. I'm gonna turn it over, give it a little press, just to spread it out. Now there's a natural line right here between the two breasts. Nice sharp knife, watch. Easy, now I have Two half chickens. Very, very simple. So let's just put these aside. Now I'm going to wash my chickeny hands and then we're going to assemble all this and I'll explain why this is all going to be delicious. All right, here we are ready to start assembling. Now here's where the tray bake section comes in. I have a nice deep roasting pan and I have this rack that sits up high and gives me a lot of room between what's gonna cook up here and what's in the pan. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put all of our vegetables in the pan, put this down, and the chicken will sit on top. And as it roasts, all that unctuousness is going to drip down into the potatoes. They're going to just soak it up, and it's going to be delicious. Now, if you don't have a roasting pan like this with a nice big tall rack, very simple to do. Any little roasting pan will work. Just put a wire rack on top of it. Really simple. The whole goal is to have space between what you're cooking here and what's cooking in here. That's the key. Okay, now, put this aside. I'm gonna start lining the bottom of this pan with these seasoned potatoes. I'm gonna try and do it neatly, shingle them out as quickly and easily as I can. And they're all seasoned. I can feel and see all the salt and pepper on them. And layering them out like this in a single layer is just going to help them cook evenly, and it's gonna help them soak up all the drippings from the chicken. Now, this is pretty simple. Just layer them on, one slice at a time. Tuck that in. Okay, beautiful. Now we wanna add just a little more flavor. I have here some garlic. You know me, I love my garlic. I've got about five cloves, and all I've done was I, I peeled them and I smashed them a bit with my knife. I'm just gonna sprinkle them over. They're just going to roast and just turn brown and delicious, and they'll be strong enough, they're just gonna get through everything. Rosemary is my next favorite. This is rosemary. I got this out of my garden. Uh, this is fresh, and it looks like pine needles, and it's part of the pine family. I'm just gonna put these on. Again, very powerful. It's gonna get into everything. My final herb is sage, fresh sage, also from my garden. Look how beautiful. Nice, almost velvety leaves. This is the taste of Thanksgiving. So we're just gonna leave these in whole right now. For now. Now the rack goes on. And our chicken. So I actually did two of these. I did one for you on camera and I had one of these done when you weren't looking. We're just going to lay them out on the rack. Just like that. We want to season them both sides. So I'll flip them over because you want to season everything properly. Salt and pepper is all you need, really, on this side. Delicious. Okay, put them back. And again, with the salt and pepper. But first, I'm gonna do a, just a tiny drizzle of olive oil on each one, just to help it brown a bit. Just a little bit. All righty, there we go. Again, salt and pepper. All done. Now that Certainly easy. This is gonna go into an oven that I preheated to 350 degrees. And in 30 minutes, we're gonna bring it out. We're gonna give a little love and you'll see what happens. Off to the ovens. Well, here we are out of the oven. Now this looks a little different from when I put it in the oven, isn't it? So what I did was at 35 minutes, I took it out, I took the chicken off the rack and I got rid of the rack. I stripped all the herbs down and I put them back in with the potatoes, stirred it all up, and then I put the chicken back in and I, I moved the potatoes around, give them a little more room and put the chicken back in, back in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes to get them nice and brown, give the potatoes a little more oomph and now here we are ready to taste. Now you see, this is why we call this an herby chicken tray bake because everything's here right in our tray. 
So let's let's have a little taste. I know this is our dinner later, but Phil won't mind. It's all for the show. So I'm just going to take a little bit right here, right on this plate, a few little potatoes. And I think I will just, this one right here. Okay. You get this out of the way. Now let's bring this in. Now, if I were this company, I would have a lovely salad, maybe a carrot salad or something to go with it to give some more vegetables and brightness, but it's just us tonight. Let's have a quick taste. First, the potato. They're a little crispy, but they're done all the way through. Mmm, wow. That chicken flavor. Those potatoes just soaked up all the luscious, lovely drippings and the garlic and the herbs. Wow. Wow. Let's try the chicken next. Perfectly cooked. Now I took his temperature and it was 160. That was perfect for chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tender, juicy. And yet, I'm getting the garlic and the rosemary. It's delicious. Let me have a little sip of my favorite wine, my Old Field Cab Franc that I love. Thank you, ladies. Just to wash it all down. Mmm. That's nice. All right. As always, I'm going to have this recipe up in the comments section of YouTube and on Facebook. We love to hear from you. Keep sending in those comments and those questions and the pictures. We love them. And I always answer every single one, every single time. So we will see you next Tuesday at 7 p.m. when you're invited back, as always, to come on over. Come on in and let's celebrate. Cheers. <laughs>